Hello and welcome to another Godot tutorial. Today I would like to show you how to easily you can create your mesh library to use it in a grid map to just lay out your levels inside the Godot editor. So first of all we need a new 3D scene. Then we just have our objects here. I imported the objects from Kenny Low Poly. I put the download link into the description of the video so you can download it or use your own objects if you have some. Out of Blender just use object files. In the next step we can just put all of them and just move them into this scene. It doesn't matter which position we have in the scene, it's just uh, important that it's in the scene. So as you can see now we have our spatial object and a lot of mesh instances right here. So as simple as that, the easiest way would be just to click on scene, convert to and then you just put a mesh library. You can define a name, something like lowpoly.meshlib and then save it. If we now create a new scene with a 3D object and we have now the grid map, we can now put our mesh library we saved into the grid map and now we have all our objects here and can just place them in the grid. You can now specify the cell length for the Kenny style we need a 3 by 3 and 0 0.3 height. Now we could lay out our ground and put all our tiles into this map. For example, with this we can lay out the ground and we could go one floor on top and then put just a tree on it. It is as simple as that to use it now as a tile map and we can now generate our levels. We have also the option in this example scene where we have put all our objects in it to create a collision shape if you would like to. So if you have for example this brown cliff you can of course put it out if you want to see it because as I said it doesn't matter in which position it's here. We could create a static body behind that and we would have a static body with a collision shape on that. So if you do that you of course have to reconvert this to a mesh library, save it over that and then our mesh library would include this static body with the collision shape. You should definitely save this scene as something like your low poly example scene so you can edit it afterwards if you need to change anything something like physics layer or you would like to add new objects just you have it as a scene so the best way to create your mesh library is to have an example scene just put all your objects into the scene and convert this scene to a mesh library you can afterwards put the mesh library into your grid map and use it and lay out your maps as a tip I always like to work on the orthogonal perspective and then you take it top view. It is much simpler here to lay out our tiles. So as you can see here, there's one thing with the with the Kenny objects. Um, as you can see here, we don't match the grid which is set in the background. And that's the problem because in the objects, in Blender objects from Kenny, the origin is set to the lower left corner. So if you want to have it matched or better placeable, it would be a good idea to put your origin in Blender into the center of the object and re-import all the objects into Godot. I hope you liked it and you have learned something. Please subscribe to the video, watch out for my other tutorials, there will be a lot following and also check out my video log for our current game we are working on. See you within the next video. Bye!